Hello, hello and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow and today we're going to be taking a look at the Smart 4.4 so stay tuned for this video. So the Smart 44 is the second generation of the Smart 44, which is a basically a four-door smart car that carries four people. The Smart Car is a city car class that competes with things like Toyota Igo, Hyundai i10, Volkswagen Up, and those kind of small city car runabouts. The safety style around the car, being a different contrasting colour to the rest of the car, has been a smart theme since the Mark 1 Smart Car that launched about 20 years ago. We jump along the side of the car. with a blend of smart quirks with some Renault bits. So the key is very much like a Renault, it's like a proper key. It goes in with the ignition inside. Engine starts up. I like how simple the gauges are. the centre gauge here we've got a semi-circle, it harks back to the Mark 1 smart car, we've got a digital display in the centre here that you can switch between, so there's your settings, you can do your service, so you go through different settings which are quite handy, especially in a compact car as this. A little smart quirk, we've got the tachometer on the right hand side here, it's quite nice. There's some angular air vents down here, and up here, the top of the dash is lined with some sort of like fabric material. It's quite nice, it's quite smooth. Your entertainment system. In also, a convenient monthly payment plan. All this plus a guaranteed save day appointment. So, here we've got your sat nav, you've got a touchscreen for your radio, etc. You can jump between it all pretty quickly, it's quite responsive. Down here, we've got one of the quirkiest climate controls I've seen. So, you've got a slides indicator for your temperature. You've got your direction of airflow here, if you want it on your face, on your feet, or just up in the window. You've got your fan speeds. AC, auto, we circulate here and it's actually a wee logo of a smart car. So that's quite cool having a little logo there. Got two small cup holders there, a little space for some coins, and we've got a five speed transmission. First is in the left, all the way to the right for fifth gear and back for reverse. Get a manual handbrake. On the steering wheel itself, it's got some deviated stitching in there, it's all black, kind of rellerish. Um, you have scratchy plastic around the centre, but it is a bit quirky they've done what they can. So this button on the left here controls the little LCD display in the middle. You've got your speed limiter there. On the right hand side, you've got your cruise control setting and your volume buttons. In the front we do have electric windows. So one touch up and down. You've got your wing mirror adjustment there. We've got your automatic start stop defeat and your parking sensors on and off of the right hand side. Quite a cool looking door handle there. And the speaker grill I've noticed as well. It's quite a funky pattern and relatively Deep door bins along with a blend of plastics and some fabric there where your arm's going to be touching. Move up to the ceiling of the car, this is your lighting there. So up above we've got a manual sunshade which is quite nice on a small car, opens up the cabin. We've got these amazing one piece design seats that are very much of a Mercedes influence. If you've been in an A class for example you'll be familiar with this. They are covered in that vinyl which is very actually similar to again what you get in the Mercedes MBTX uh, leather. That's nice to see. We've got the white stitching as well. They're quite flat and spongy and soft. Move over to the glove box. We've got a very cute small glove box that could probably hold a light bulb. And overall I'm 5 foot 11. We've got enough headroom, definitely enough breadth, enough room as well in the shoulders. And that's quite nice uh, considering the size of the car. Also down in the side of the seat we've got seat heaters, 
which is a nicer game. So this is a small car that competes with things like the Volkswagen Up and the Skoda Citigo. We have to give the car a little rev. Step out and jump into the back of the car. We do have a baby seat in the back, so apologies for that. Move the parcel shelf up. You can see we've kind of got seating for two. And we've got another shade up here. It's going to be tough to do with one hand, but. We've got another stun shade at the top there. We've got a little tray here. Again, one hard to do with one hand, we've got cup holders and definitely some storage, which is handy. We've got a lot of, quite a deep pocket there at the back. Again, apologies for the lighting, I couldn't see any rear lights in the back of this car, but again, you've got enough storage and the same materials without. I have noticed, however, there's little pop out windows from classic cars from about 10 15 years ago <laughs> and how that looks on the outside. So, that's how that looks from the outside, you get a little bit of air. But that actual panel does not move down. So we'll go ahead and open the boot of the car. Finger under here. Lift up. So I apologise here not having the information and recording for the road test that I conducted on the Smart 4.4. Uh, it seems to have lost the data, however, let's crack on with the information anyway. So the Smart 4.4 comes with two engines, a 70 brake horsepower 1 litre is standard, and for about £600 more you can get a 0.9 litre, uh, which is in this model. The Banyo gearbox is light and precise, and you nearly need to roll through the gears to get the most out of this engine from the car. Both engines offer a claimed 67 miles to a gallon and we get pretty high 50s to a gallon on our road test. The Smart has a great turning radius as the site is a hackney cab so that's great and means it's easy to manoeuvre around town and those tight parking spaces. However, at motorway speeds the car struggles a little bit and the road and wind noise also becomes quite apparent. So go ahead and turn it off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my Smart 4.4 video, hope you guys find it informative, it's a smart, quirky little car. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to Cars of Glasgow below and share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching. Ciao!